Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Zephra Nalev, and it's time for another Instant Deck Tech. So today we're heading to Standard to check out one of the best performing decks at Pro Tour Eldritch Moon, but a deck that floated just a little bit below the radar. It didn't get a lot of time on camera, it didn't really make the top 8, but it was still very good and gave a lot of people very good finishes. This is 4 Color Emerge. So the actual list I pulled is from Yuki Matsumoto. So congrats to Yuki on their performance with the deck. That said, a bunch of people and some of the major teams played this deck, so it's not just Yuki, a lot of different people were on this deck at Pro Tour Eldridge Moon. Anyway, quick reminder, before we break it all down, if you enjoy this deck and want to see it made into videos, take a minute, click the like button, the subscribe button, leave a comment, anything you can do to support your deck, because whichever deck is most popular gets a shot at being made into videos next week. So, Four Color Merge is almost the dredge of standard. That might be a little bit loose as far as the comparison, but it's as close as we're going to get. So, the idea of this deck is to stock up your graveyard with a ton of powerful two drops. You got a total of 16 two drops that can start getting cards in your graveyard, so you're almost always going to have one, and a lot of times you're going to have more than one of these cards in your opening hand. So Jace Friends Prodigy, you can use it to loo, eventually it flips around, gets you a little extra value that way. Noose Constrictor lets you discard a card, can also block flyers, which is somewhat relevant, and can get big and hit for a lot of damage. Gather the pack and grapple the past, give you a way to dump cards from your library into your graveyard while also getting a bit of value. Gather the pack, let you grab a creature out of your top five, mill the rest. If you have spell mastery, which isn't impossible with this deck, you'll get two creatures instead. And Grapple of the Past is very sweet. This was one of the most played cards at Pro Tour Eldritch Moon. You mill three, and then you get either a creature or a land back from your graveyard to your hand. One of the really powerful interactions with Grapple with the Past is you can flash it back with Jace once you flip your Jace, and that gives you the ability to get back a creature, or a land I guess technically, with your Jace by flashing back the grapple so you flip the jays flash back grapple with the past and then get back whatever your best creature is so instead of just getting spells it kind of lets jays get creatures as well so regardless the main reason these cards are in the deck is to stock up your graveyard so why do you want to stock your graveyard because one of the more powerful things this deck can do is kind of play the dredge game so what it wants to do is get as many prized amalgams into the graveyard as possible a three three for three that returns to the battlefield on the next end step whenever you have another creature return from your graveyard to the battlefield. So that might sound a little weird, but basically, if you pay two, discard two cards, get back a Haunted Dead, you will, at the next end step, get back every prize amalgam in your graveyard as well. Stitch Wings Gob is kind of the backup. Haunted Dead, not as good. One of the problems with these cards we saw in Shadows Over Innistrad, the pay something, discard some number of cards, get it back from the graveyard, is they tend to enter the battlefield tapped. I think almost all of them did. Haunted Dead kind of changed that, and that's why Haunted Dead is way better than the other options. Yes, it still technically enters the battlefield tapped, but you get a 1-1 spirit with flying that is untapped, so you can get a blocker right away and keep yourself alive if your opponent's attacking you with something big. But basically, you just grind out value with this package. If your stuff gets killed, you don't care because you're just going to discard cards and get everything back again, and you can do some really cool tricks with the timing as well. The other sweet thing about this package, these are three and four mana creatures that you can easily get back from your graveyard. That sets them up perfectly to be emerged with Elder Deep Fiend. So you sack them, make your Elder Deep Fiend cost three or four mana, tap down your opponent's stuff, but the big payoff is Kozlix Return, which was one of the most popular cards at Pro Tour Eldritch Moon. So good. On its front half, you kill some little things at instant speed. Very solid, but the big payoff is getting in your graveyard. Either cast it or grapple the pass, gather the pack, jace, discard it somehow. And then, when you cast your Elder Deep Fiend, you just exile Kozlik's Return, pretty much wipes away all the creatures on the battlefield, and you basically turn this into a Plague Wind, because you're going to be able to get all your stuff back super easily. You can even do some cool tricks with the timing, like uh, casting your Elder Deep Fiend when you have the Haunted Dead Return trigger on the stack, so Kozlik's Return resolves, and then you get all your stuff back. So... It's pretty easy to turn Kozlik's Return with the help of Elder Deep Fiend into a one-sided Wrath effect. Kills all your opponent's stuff, doesn't really kill your stuff. And then just a couple of value plays. Nissa gets you a land, 
can be a good planeswalker in late game, and you can tutor it up since it's a one of with the help of Traverse to Uvenwald. So much milling in this deck, it's pretty easy to turn on Delirium. And then Traverse can get your Elder Deep Fiends, your discard outlets, search up more prized amalgams, all the stuff this deck wants to be doing anyway. As far as the mana base, you get a bunch of dual lands, including a couple Lumbering Falls, and then everyone's favorite Evolving Wild plus basic land package. Moving to the sideboard, we get some more big top end stuff. Dragonlord Slumgar can steal a Planeswalker or a creature, even an Emrakul, which was also all over the place at Pro Tour Eldritch Moon. Descended Mindbender can tear apart your opponent's hand, gives you another merge creature. One more Nissa for the value plan. Languishes and ultimate prices give you some more removal. Finally, three dresses in a single mountain. It's always weird to see a land in the sideboard, but I'm guessing that if you're going to bring in Dragonlord Slumgar and Distended Mindbender, you kind of need a little bit more mana, so you can sideboard in an extra mana source as well. Anyway, that is four color Emerge from Pro Tour Eldritch Moon. That's been our instant deck deck for today. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will talk to you soon.